Hey guys, I'm in Chengdu in China. Zhui Xiang Mi. Dried pandas. Um. So I've got 35 RMB worth of Chinese snacks right here in this bag. So stay tuned to see what I got from my family mart haul. If you love taste test videos just like this, then head over to my channel. I've got plenty more videos of me trying different snacks from around the world. Ni hao, I'm Tom, and today in our Let's Try video, Oh my god, I'm already really really excited because we're about to eat something. But I recently came from a trip to Chengdu in China and I kind of wanted to challenge myself. I've done a few of these let's try or taste test videos and I thought let's give myself a budget. I had 35 RMB or 35 yuan which is roughly about 5 US dollars or 7 Australian dollars and I thought let's see how many Chinese snacks I can buy for 35 yuan. But let's check out my IG stories of what happened that day. So I literally have 35 RMB or 35 Chinese local currency and let's see what snacks we can get at the local family mart so this is gonna be exciting. As you can see it's raining so I couldn't do much of a travel vlog here. So are you ready for the 35 RMB snack challenge at family mart? Okay, so I got quite a few things actually, I'm surprised. My total bill was 35.90 RMB, so is that a fail? But I got six snacks, so let me show you what I got. Okay, so if you're kind of wondering what brought me to do this kind of video, well, I was originally going to be doing a travel vlog in Chengdu, but it was pouring down raining, and I thought, well, I still need to do something. So when I was walking past Family Mart, I thought, okay, let me check to see how much I've got. I kind of didn't want to take any money out. And I had 37 RMB, and if you see my receipt here, this is my receipt from all my purchase there. It's 35. I can send you a copy if you don't believe me. And I've got change I've got one yuan change one yuan <laughs> one yuan change from my haul at Family Mart in this lovely Family Mart bag so I guess we should start and start with the first one let me ask you first how many Chinese snacks do you think I got in here like 20 no four close but I actually got six Chinese snacks and I was really surprised at how much I got because this is worth five US dollars. Let's check out and have a closer look at what I got and I'm really excited but also kind of scared at the same time because I'm not quite sure what they are. I had to ask a colleague to kind of translate the things that I got because they're all written in Chinese but I'm also really excited because some of the flavors in here you guys are gonna think that it's kind of weird. So let's start with a Chinese snack taste test. Another disclaimer guys, my Chinese is really really bad. I don't speak a word of Chinese or Mandarin, so forgive me and uh, tell me if I have mispronounced anything. I apologize in advance, but that's the fun of it, right? That That's why I love doing these challenges because I buy a lot of snacks that I don't know a word of what it says on the cover, so I don't know what it tastes like until I make this video. So let's start with our first Chinese snack. The first one is... <laughs> I got it because it was right at the counter. I had another one point something yuan left and I just grabbed it thinking, okay, I don't have anything chocolatey in my haul, but this is Zhui Xiang Mi. Zhui Xiang Mi. <laughs> I wish I could say that more, but I'm not too confident in my Mandarin. Well, I'm not confident in my Mandarin at all, but this is white chocolate with seaweed. Oh my god, I love white chocolate and I love seaweed, but together, I'm kind of 
um, scared. If you see the picture here, there's like a white chocolate and then there's the seaweed. And when I first got this, I actually thought it was green tea. That's why I got it. You know I love green tea flavored desserts and chocolate, but <laughs> white chocolate and seaweed. Okay, let's open it. Okay. There's a little bit. You can see the seaweed specks in there. I can smell the white chocolate. <laughs> but the seaweed... Okay, I'm just gonna eat it. Closer look for you guys here. Like I said, it kind of looks like an Oreo, like a white chocolate Oreo. Let's try it. Um, no. This is not for me. 150%. When I first bit, in, bit into it, I thought yum, that white chocolate, but now all I can taste is seaweed. And what I'm going to tell you is, this tastes like fish with chocolate. Can you ever imagine fish dipped in chocolate and eating that? This is what it tastes like. It's not for me. At least I can say I've tried it. White chocolate and seaweed. Zhui Xiang Mi. No, I'm really, really sorry. I can't. Bye-bye. Next, wash that out with some Chinese water. So next is, this looks super yum. I got it because, well, it's kind of cheating. Underneath here is the English translation, but this is, okay, hold on a second so I can pronounce this properly. Ru Suan Jun Ran Tan. Tan? <laughs> <laughs> but this is lactobacillus flavored gummy. Now, if you're wondering why lactobacillus sounds familiar, it is from or found in your cult. So, if you're a fan of your cult, then this is for you. And I'm a fan of your cult, so that's why I got it. And the gummies, I love my gummies, and that's why I got it. So, let's try it. Oh my god. That is yum. It is so yummy, seriously. It just smells like you're caught right out of this bag. And they're in little milk bottles. That's super cute. Super duper cute. I just feel like I had a Yakult, so I love this. Love, love, love. Can't pronounce it anymore. Um, Ru Suan Jun Ruan Tan. Okay, next. So next is, this is really cute packaging. I love how they package snacks in Asia. This is Zhang Jun Ya Xiao Mei Mei. Did I say that nicely or correctly? I got it because, have a look at this cute little girl on there and she's holding, not sure if you can see, she's holding kind of like she's grilling something. And these are grilled noodle crackers. So just imagine your cup noodles, they've chopped them up into little squares and made it a grilled flavor. And they just bunged a little girl on there. Girl, sell those grilled noodles. <laughs> so let's eat it. I'm smelling it and I feel like I'm supposed to cook it. Like, am I supposed to pour hot water in here and then eat it? <laughs> it seriously just smells like the cup noodles that you get at the shop. Okay. That's good. And on the back it says, good, good eat. Oh. So, Mei Mei, I think Mei Mei means little girl, right? Xiao Mei Mei. <laughs> so yeah, I loved these grilled noodle crackers. Zhang Jun Ya Xiao Mei Mei, thumbs up. Next, I'm excited with this one. So this is, the whole point about going to Chengdu in China is about the panda sanctuary, the panda zoo. And I wasn't able to go there because of the rain. It was pouring down raining that day. So instead, I got some panda snacks. Now when I first saw this, I was like, are these like dried pandas? Because it looks like it, come on. And even he's shocked. Let's see if I can pronounce it. This is Mala Bunjin. Mala Bunjin, Mala Bunjin. <laughs> Sorry for the accent, but this is Mala Bunjin. Did I pronounce that okay? <laughs> yeah, this is Stride Panda. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
This is spicy bean curd, so it's a vegetarian snack. But I don't know why they put a panda on it, because seriously, I thought I was gonna be eating a panda. And I didn't wanna eat a panda, but I just thought this looked really cool. So let's eat it, but I don't know how to open this. Oh, it's on the bottom. Spicy. Are you guys into spicy food? I like spicy food, but when it's too hot, no. Nah. Okay, let's open this up. <coughs> no. Oh my god, I have to eat this for you guys because it's on video. It smells... Whew. My whole house smells now. I don't even know what this is. Okay, this really looks like meat jerky. And I don't know why it's giving me panda vibes. <laughs> okay, I'll eat it. First of all, this does not smell good. Secondly, I don't believe that it's vegetarian because I really feel like I'm eating a meat jerky. So I'm confused, and it's super, super spicy. I don't really know how to explain the taste, but it's supposed to be bean curd, but the consistency, I guess if you're a vegetarian, it's good because it's gonna make you feel like you're having like a beef jerky. I'm gonna pass on this. I'm sorry, Malabunchin. Let's go to the next Chinese snack, please. Okay, I just need to wash that off. We've done four. Let's go on to the fifth one out of six. The next one is yam chips. But in Mandarin, these are Shan Yao Bo Pian. Shan Yao Bo Pian. <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of the Mandarin now. I hope I'm pronouncing them correctly. I feel bad if I don't. But these are yam chips and they're soy sauce flavor. So I did wanted to get something a little bit more savory and it's kind of like chips because I was craving them when I saw it. So let's open them up. I love soy sauce too. <laughs> I can really smell the soy sauce. <laughs> okay, take one. Yam chips. Let's see. Yum, these are good. Yam chips. I'm finishing this whole bag when I finish recording this video. Yam chips, <laughs> soy sauce flavor, shan yao bo pyeong. Yum. Next. So the last one, number six out of six, I was able to get six Chinese snacks for 35 yuan or 35 RMB. So number six is... Pejoy. <laughs> or Pejoy, Pejoy. This is Bai Chun. Bai Chun. And apparently they called it Pejoy because it sounds like Bai Chun, but I don't really understand that. But this is so chocolate but red wine flavor. So let's consider this our nightcap, which will put us to bed soundly for the rest of the night if it's got alcohol in it. I heard it doesn't really have alcohol in it, but it's supposed to taste like red wine in the chocolate. And I've never had any red wine chocolates before. So let's try it out. They come in individual wraps, so at least we've got this. Pejoy, Bai Chun. <laughs> okay. Let's see. <laughs> that kind of smells like red wine. I feel like I just opened a bottle of red wine, but actually smells a bit more grape now that I think of it. It smells like grapes. <laughs> There you go, chocolate sticks with a biscuit in it. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this gonna stain my teeth? I don't drink red wine because I don't want to stain my teeth and my lips. The flavors are really conflicting here. Hang on, have I got red lips now? Stain or stain on my teeth? This is actually really yummy, but the red wine smell and the red wine taste is the initial taste and flavor and smell. But when you keep on chewing, it just tastes like grapes. And no, this doesn't have any alcohol in it. I would have tasted it, I would have told you guys. But I wouldn't necessarily give it to my kids or nieces and nephews or cousins. But this is a pretty good snack. 
and a good nightcap to end this video. So, Bai Chun or Pejoy red wine chocolate sticks. So there you go guys, that was our video for today. I'm really happy that I was able to do the 35 RMB or 35 Yuan challenge. Sorry Family Mart employees, I know that when I went in there, I probably looked like a criminal look, rummaging through all of your chocolates and snacks and calculating in my mind if it added up to 35 Yuan. I was literally there for a good 30 minutes looking at Chinese stuff and I was recording. So the staff there was kind of, oh my God, who's this guy? Is he an inspector? Vector, is he? What's he doing? So apologize, Family Mart Chengdu, for causing such a ruckus in your mini mart. I liked four of them out of six. I hadn't really seen too much Chinese snacks anywhere, so it was good to get some locally made Chinese snacks to show it for you guys. So if you like this video, don't forget to like this video down below. If you have any friends who are looking into what Chinese snacks are, don't forget to share this video and show it to him. Also, if you haven't subscribed so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, head over to my channel and check out my Let's Try series where you'll be able to see a lot of other videos of me tasting different snacks and food from around the world. There might also be another series that you could be interested in, so don't forget to check that out. If you're on social media, my Facebook page and my website are both tomsolfesta.com. If you're on Instagram, my Instagram is tomsolfesta and there you'll be able to take part in polls that determine what my next video should be and also ask you a few questions on what content I should be putting out for you guys so don't forget to be involved in that but before we go let me ask you a question about today's video which one out of the six snacks that I tried which one do you want to try and also if you have bought some snacks when you were in China tell me a snack that you want me to try next time I'm in town I'm in China regularly so let me know and I can always try and get it when I'm in town so until next time, bye-bye and keep on smiling.